company that wants to build a crude oil pipeline through Iowa is trying to convince Mahaska County residents that it's a good idea. The Bakken oil field pipeline runs from far northwest Iowa to far southeastern Iowa, and KCCI's Mark Tauschek is live in Oskaloosa where tonight's packed house meeting took place. It was a good turnout tonight here in Oskaloosa at this church on the outskirts of town. Some 200 people showed up. This was a meeting that this Texas-based pipeline company was required to hold in order to start negotiating with landowners, and they had to also do this before they could start the process of applying for a permit from the state to even build this pipeline. Now, this was supposed to be an informational meeting only, not a time for debate, but of course, plenty of opinions showed up. This Texas-based company, Dakota Access, says the $3.5 billion underground pipeline would run 1,100 miles through four states, including 18 counties here in Iowa. Pipeline company officials today said this pipeline running from the Bakken oil fields in North Dakota would be at least three feet below ground here in Iowa. That's four feet below ground on agricultural land and carry over 400,000 barrels of crude oil a day. The number of temporary construction jobs created in Iowa would be as many as 4,000, providing an estimated $390 million in wages. It'd be real big. It'd be real big. I mean, when you talk about um, a pipeline that's going to spread, you know, 300 and some miles, it's going to put a lot of people to work. It's going to be a big shot in the arm. I like my farmland, and I don't believe this pipeline is for the good of anybody in Iowa. And once this land is destroyed, it's gone. The decision on whether or not this pipeline company will get this permit to build here in the state is expected sometime next summer. If approved, construction would begin immediately. We were told that surveying teams are already out across the Iowa countryside. There will be more pipeline meetings in Iowa tomorrow if you're interested. One in Ankeny and one in Newton. Reporting live in Oskaloosa, Mark Tosha, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.